guys! Welcome back to Gabbing with Jessa. Today I'm going to be reviewing one of the very first X-Men movies that I have seen from start to finish. Today I will be reviewing Dark Phoenix. Now I have never really seen any of the X-Men movie prior to this. My knowledge on them was that there was a man named Charles Xavier who had a school for mutant children and they were called as X-Men. Also, that Jennifer Lawrence played some kind of a blue character that reminded me of the people from Avatar, and I think there was a beach scene in one of the movies. It was playing in the background of my friend's dorm my freshman year, so that's where I gained these facts. But when I saw the trailer released for Dark Phoenix, I was actually really excited for it. I think I first saw the trailer back in October, I want to say? And then all of the reshoots happened, which pushed the movie back to being released at the beginning of this month. Even with all of that, I was really excited for this movie. I think that the movie was an enjoyable one. It wasn't as enjoyable as the other MCU movies. This one was not as comical and didn't really connect with me the way that the Marvel movies do. Not saying that a movie needs to be comical for me to like it. But the MCU does have this way of making quips every now and then to make sure people aren't getting bored from a superhero movie. I thought that Sophie Turner did a great job as Jean Grey. She made me more interested to learn more about her character and her origins, so I will definitely be going to my local comic book store soon to pick up a few of her comics. I also really liked Ty Sheridan as Cyclops. He was a standout character to me. All of the mutants have their time to shine at some point during this movie. I think that's what made the movie really enjoyable to me because I was able to learn more about each of their powers having never seen the previous movies and doing a little quick research beforehand. This movie seemed to be a little quick pace for me, especially during the late beginning to early middle part, so I got a little lost there, but man, they had this amazing third act fight on a train. It was... It was, it was just so much fun to watch. I was so intrigued during the whole time of that fight. Jessica Chastain is another amazing person who does an amazing job with her role that she is given, and I love every scene that she's in. I think she is definitely a scene stealer in this movie. My one little complaint is that I wish there was more Quicksilver. I've loved Quicksilver from Avengers Age of Ultron, and I'm still upset with his death like four years later. And so I was excited to see him return to the big screen for me for the first time. And he has some enjoyable lines. He's definitely the quippiest one of the bunch. But I just wish there was just a little bit more. Overall, I think this was a fine movie. And now that Disney has bought out Fox, I'm excited to see how Marvel Studios will handle the X-Men and integrating them into the MCU. I have a lot of faith in Kevin Feige and his team that they will handle these mutants with care but also not try to undo what these actors have already set up for these characters in these first few installments. But of course, that's just my opinion. I would love to hear what you guys think and more in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys.